All right, guys, thanks for stopping back. Here we are with the SRX. I finally got four new tires on it. Um, it was had a blown out tire, so I haven't been able to even drive this thing until uh, last week. So I moved it around. Um, it's going to the tire shop tomorrow on a ramp truck to get a four wheel alignment. And then it's going to a buddy of mine's house and he's going to help me paint it. And uh, we'll get this thing done. But check out the, the following clip here with the paintless dent removal. I just tried to subdue um, a little bit of stuff from the accident so there's not as much filler. And uh, that's it. So hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I bought a cheap little dent kit. Uh, paintless dent remover uh, just off of Amazon. I'll show you later. But I'm going to do a little practice with it. Is a dent under the hood here. Uh, that I'm just going to try and pull out and then I got a, a small one on the top of the uh, of this hood so when the hood gets painted and gets the body work done I don't want to put a lot of filler in it so let's see what this does okay bear with me I'm doing this pretty quick here okay I got the glue gun I chose you can see that I chose this one there's triangle ones but I'll show you what I'm going to do so we'll try this by putting a little glue on here. See if you can see this here. Hopefully. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit there. Oh, she's hot. Okay, this is the yellow. The yellow glue that comes with it. Okay, and I'm just going to set it like right here. And they say don't pull... Don't uh, push on it too much because you want the glue to glue to set up on there. We'll let it cool. I don't know if that's in the right spot, but this is just a trial thing. We'll see what it does. Okay, we'll let that cool off. I did clean this with alcohol. It's only 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol. I believe they recommended uh, 90. So we'll just let that cool for a minute. And uh, I'll use this for the tool right here. I say this is just from Amazon, just a cheap kit. I don't know if this is going to get in the way, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try this right now. I don't know if that needs to go out for a little slot. There we go. Okay. These pads do move, depending on what you want to do. So we'll tighten this up a bit. And let's see what this does. Uh, well, it's flexing it. I don't know how good the glue's going to hold. Okay, it's designed to do that, I guess. Some of it came out. All right, hopefully I can keep this steady. I'm using a little bit of a different tool, the bridge thing here. This gets you in a little closer. You can kind of see the dent. Uh, anyways, we're going to give this a try. All right, let's see what this does. It's pulling on it. It's working. I don't know how much of that. It's probably getting ready to come undone, but it's going away a little bit right there. It'll spring back. Still got a little up in here, but let's keep going. This is under the hood. It don't really matter. Okay, well, it got quite a bit, but you can kind of see the shape of it. You can see the shape of what's there, but it's getting better. Nobody said it was going to be easy. All right, so this is after five or six times I've done this. Obviously, I'm scraping off a little bit of the, the paint. This isn't really finished paint, 
under here. Uh, I don't think it's cleared or anything. It's just, the, you know, the overspray from doing the hood. But I don't really care. It's a practice uh, for this hood. I got a lot of it out. And again, this isn't going to happen in one or two shots. And I'm just learning. This is my first time. But I'm pretty impressed with this kit so far. you just got to have some patience. But uh, I, can, I can do this anytime. Um, I'm just going to work on the top of the hood right now and get some of that out. So let's go check that out. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, i got to get this done. I don't have a lot of time. And I'm not really set up to film all this. But you can see where the... The body line comes around here. There's a dent. It kind of goes this way, or whatever hit it. One goes that way. It kind of goes this way up here. And you can see that there's a little bit in here. So I'm going to do the best I can to subdue this right here so we don't have a lot of filler um, when this all gets blended in up in here so I'm just gonna do the best I can I don't know if I'm gonna do these little divots right here um, it's gonna end up being what it is um, that's about it so I'll just get back to you in a little bit and I'll show you how I made out so take a kind of good look at that stuff and uh, we'll see what it looks like when I'm done all right so this is the end result after goofing with it for a little while nothing perfect it's it's a little bit better uh, than what it was and that's what I really wanted You really need some really good light and a lot of time and patience um, It's going to take a long time to learn how to do this dent removal stuff and You know this ain't even getting into using all those rods and fenders I'm, I'm not even interested in doing that just trying to fix this up a little bit So we didn't need as much filler in a few areas I may tackle a couple of small dents on the car when it's all done a few parking lot dings but that's about it. Thanks for watching.